So here we have a Catalpa Sphinx Moth caterpillar, and it is completely parasitized by Braconid wasps. Those little cocoon-like things on its back are actually cocoons from the wasp itself. So this is a walking zombie. Um, the Braconid wasps are parasitoids. They actually kill its host. So what they've done is they've actually lived inside of it, eaten all the nine vital parts, and now they've made their little pupa on the outside, and out of there will fly these tiny little wasps that will then go and find something else. So this, this caterpillar is dead for all practical purposes. There's nothing that can be done. The insides have been eaten away except for the vital parts. And it's still moving around. Like I said, it's a little zombie, um, but the, uh, the the damage has been done. What you see there are not eggs. Those are, those are uh, pupa, basically, what some people call a cocoon. And so this wasp, uh, this caterpillar will never become a sphinx moth. Um, Catalpa uh, sphinx moths have spread very far north, and so has this parasitoid braconid wasp. Why? Because we plant catalpa now well outside its range. So we normally wouldn't have catalpa here up in northern Virginia, but we do now, and with it came these caterpillars, and with it came the parasitoid, these braconid wasps that feed on these um, on these caterpillars. That's its host. It's the host, the catalpa is the host plant for the, for the catalpa moth, and the uh, Catalpa sphinx worm is the host for the raconid wasp, and these are the cocoons on its back. So um, sometimes they'll wiggle around trying to thrash around to try to get rid of anything attacking it, but in this case, like I said, oh, and here's a raconid wasp actually crawling on the leaf underneath it. Uh, I don't know if you can pick that up on a camera. One just came up and is crawling up and over its back. That little tiny thing is a wasp, believe it or not, and it has already emerged from the little caterpillar. So the cocoons are already breaking open. And as you can see in the very, very end, that tiny little thing walking around is a braconid wasp, along with one other one crawling around the leaf, waiting to find another caterpillar that it can then parasitize. A parasite lives on, its, on, on, uh, lives on the um, host and sometimes um, will hurt it, but doesn't necessarily kill it. A parasitoid, which is what this is, always kills its host. And so this is a parasitoid wasp. This Braconid wasp has already killed this caterpillar. It is a walking zombie, and the young are now emerging. And again, it shows you how intertied nature is, and also how, I guess, how cruel it can be. Um, you know, nature actually invented real zombies before, and this is a zombie, a zombie caterpillar. A Catalpa sphinx moth caterpillar one of the horn worms, as you can see, by the spike that coming out the back end, and the braconid wasp that parasitizes it, emerging from the, the pupa on its back to continue another generation.